The House Ad Hoc Committee conducted today's 33rd public hearing on the proposed Bangsamoro Basic Law. Among those who attended the hearing at the Batasang Pambansa were members of the business sector. This report. The House Ad Hoc Committee on the Bangsamoro, chaired by Congressman Rufus Rodriguez, are in the final stages of the consultations on the proposed Bangsamoro Basic Law. Over 30 consultations were conducted in core areas of the new Bangsamoro entity to be created and key population centers of the country from Luzon to the Visayas. A key concern raised is the constitutionality of some provisions which could be challenged before the Supreme Court. House Majority Leader Napoli Gonzalez Jr. explained the consultations will give the committee an opportunity to address these concerns to ensure before the bill is approved Amendments will be initiated to harmonize every provision with the Constitution. Maganda kasi sa House, we agree to disagree. And I take my hats off to the members of the minority, the majority black, and of course the independent, na talagang maiktin ang mga discussion dyan. But at the end of the day, we get things done. And for that, uh, I am thankful for the members of the majority, and of, as well as the minority, that... Uh, in today's hearing of the Rodriguez Committee, former Finance Secretary Margarito Tevez stressed the basic law which will create the new Bank Samoro entity will enhance its economic growth and the rest of Mindanao. Tevez said the region offers great promise for development and enhanced trade with member nations of the Bimpiaga composed of Brunei, Indonesia, and Malaysia. It will also boost Mindanao's future as the country's major economic base. We believe that Mindanao has abundant primary resources, very favorable agroclimatic conditions, relatively lower power costs, and vast opportunities, especially through its link or linkages with BIMP IAGA. And unfortunately, investments have so far stayed away due to some security concerns, which are uh, continuously being addressed. Peace in the South can bring up Mindanao's contribution to the economy or gross domestic product and close cultural and historical links with Brunei, Indonesia, and Malaysia can allow the region to access new capital through Islamic financing and new export market in the growing halal or food industry. Concerns were also raised on the listing of the population in the core areas of the new Bangsamoro entity and the programs to be undertaken to address the literacy of the people. Congressman Rodriguez proposed the National Statistics Authority and the Department of Education be mandated to address these concerns. This is between government and the MILF, with the government being represented both on the national level and the arm. Uh, that there may be some discussion on what is the best way to approach this, uh, considering uh, the insights that I'm sure that the current armed government also has on this matter, Your Honor. Will the Secretary therefore touch base with the DepEd on adult literacy and also for the Philippine Statistical Authority? And we might be able to come out with, uh, I think we will not wait anymore for the... Uh, for the uh, for this bill to be approved and then we wait for the Bangsamoro uh, parliament to be appropriating money for adult education and civil registration for the people's television network this is Freddie Abando reporting <laughs>